Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be talking to not just you adults, but children. So if you are a parent and you have a child who maybe hates going to the dentist, or even maybe loves going to the dentist and just wants to learn a little bit more about what uh, we do at the dentist and what, uh, why I do it, then stay tuned because I'm gonna explain all that right away. So I'm gonna start with a did you know. So did you know that when you are a little teeny tiny baby in your mama's belly, your first molars, your six year molars, the molars that don't come into your mouth until you are six years old, they actually started forming. So you can imagine how long it takes to make a tooth. It takes like five or six years to make a tooth. So your body works very hard to make that beautiful little tooth for you and you get 20 of them. When you're a child, you have 20 of these teeth. By the time you're six years old, you start to get what? You start to get your permanent teeth or your adult teeth, okay? More about that later. But what I wanna say is that the baby teeth are so, so cute and so precious and so white, but the downside is that they're so easily can get a cavity. And I'm sure all of you have heard of now, by now, what a cavity is. And maybe some of you, when you're at the dentist, you're very kind of nervous, you're hoping that the dentist doesn't tell you or your mom or dad that you have, what? A cavity. So, a cavity is nothing more than just a little hole that forms in your tooth. Have you ever seen holes that form in your jeans? Have you ever seen anybody with like holes in their jeans or holes in their, um, like potholes in, in, on the road that you drive over the road and you see the little holes? And what happens when your car drives over that hole, right? It's kind of hard on it. It breaks it down and it's not good. So it's nice when we have teeth that are nice and smooth and they don't have any holes. If the holes get too big, then we can have some pain, right? So that can hurt. And so it takes a little while for that to happen, but the best thing you can do, and I'm gonna go over these things today, is how you can stop that from happening. And if you do have to get a hole fixed by your dentist or someone like me, Dr. Peggy, then what we will do to help make it better. And it's really easy and I wanna share that with you because I don't want anybody to be afraid of having anything done at the dentist. Now when we go to the dentist, it's super easy, super fun. So I know this makes you crazy. I'm sure you hate it when your parents say, did you brush your teeth? Have you brushed your teeth yet? Go back in the bathroom, brush your teeth some more. I know it gets really, really old really fast. But the reason why we brush our teeth, I want you to imagine for a minute. Your tooth is a very beautiful, nice, shiny surface, okay? But when every day, so when you sleep, especially when you sleep, this happens, so it's very sneaky, these germs. But when you're sleeping, this sticky layer starts to creep up over your teeth, okay? And there's these germs, everybody has germs. We wash our hands to get rid of germs, but germs just keep coming back. So our mouth has germs too, and those germs will get stuck in that sticky layer that starts to form on your teeth, and that's like a film or like a layer, like a blanket over your teeth. And it's not that you're, you know, brushing away even the, just the germs. You have to brush away that sticky layer so that the germs don't get stuck in there. And if you've ever used slime, I'm sure a lot of you like slime and you're making slime and you're making it like almost like too runny kind of thing and it gets really stuck to your hands. Or maybe you're making cookies and you have the dough and the chocolate chips and all that sort of gets stuck there, right? And your hands feel really yucky. Well, that's how your teeth feel when you don't brush them, okay? So you don't feel it with your tongue because you're this big person and you have a lot of other parts to worry about, but your teeth feel really yucky and they're just like, please brush us, please brush us. Um, and they just want you to clean them because they want to feel nice and shiny. And that's how they're supposed to be, nice and shiny. And that little layer that creeps up over your teeth when you sleep gets the germ stuck in it. So when is the best time to brush? The best times to brush are right before you go to sleep and right when you get up in the morning because those are the two times that probably a lot more is happening. Now, throughout the day, after we have a snack or after lunch, after supper is an also really good time. But if you could say, oh, there's only two times that I brush and you tell me that it's right before bed and it's right when you get up in the morning, then I'm gonna be super happy and proud of you. So of course, if you're doing that, you're probably not gonna get any cavities, okay? 
but what happens if you do a little experiment and you say, I'm not gonna brush my teeth for like a whole week or a whole few days or whatever. So those germs that get stuck in that sticky blanket on your teeth, they, they are like little, they're like little animals. Let's think of them as little animals, the little germs, okay? So little animals, what do they do? They eat, and what do they do? They poop, right? They eat and poop, eat and poop. Imagine if the little germs that are stuck in that little blanket on your teeth are eating and pooping, and you let that go on for days? It's crazy. So you're gonna have them pooping on your teeth. It is gross. So, if you brush, remember, if you brush before bed, then all that sticky stuff that they created or when they did it overnight when you were sleeping, then they can't make the holes because the poop, can I say that word? Um, the poop, that actually makes the holes. So that gets me back to the holes. Remember, we're driving down the road and we have a big hole and the car just falls right into it. That's a big problem, right? Holes. So we don't want holes anywhere and the poop is actually what causes the holes. So I hope that really makes it sticks in your head and helps you understand why it's so important and why your parents want you to brush your teeth. So once in a while, you're just a little human, you're gonna mess up. You're gonna get a hole in your tooth and your dentist is gonna, or your hygienist is gonna say, oh, I think you have a cavity. And your parents are gonna be like, oh no. And you're gonna be like, oh no. And you know what? Don't you worry because because of the way dentistry is now, and dentists have a lot of super cool tools. I don't know if you've seen or you had to have a filling lately, but we do things a lot different than when your parents were little. So what we'll do first is we will show you where the hole is. We might actually take a picture of your tooth and we will show you so that you can do much better next time and we can show you how you can help keep it really clean until we fix it. But what, a couple other things we're gonna do. One is we're gonna, book an appointment where you come in and we just fix the little hole. Now there's a few ways we do that, but for the most part, we show you everything before we start. So we're gonna lay you back and we're gonna again show you with the picture, show you where the filling cavity is or the hole. And we're going to then, what I have is like, it's sort of like a little, I show it on your nail, but it's sort of like rumbles on your tooth. It's like a, like a little engine and it kind of rumbles over your tooth and it cleans out and it takes the germs and it makes them go flying. And then my assistant, she has a Mr. Slurpee or like a little suction hose and she vacuums up the germs. So as I'm rumbling and scaring away all the germs in the hole, she's sucking them up. So they're just like out of there. So we take away all of the germs, right? Then we're like, well, now what do we have? We have a clean hole. So we still have a hole, we have to fix that. So we will then put a little bit of what's called a blue jelly on your tooth. And the blue jelly actually helps my material, my filling that I'm gonna fill the hole with, stick better. So we put the little blue jelly on, we'll show you before we start, and then we leave it on there and we count to 15. And after 15 seconds, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, one, we wash it all off. And then we put on this little special tooth glue that we have. And we put in a little, little ball of white material and it looks just like your tooth did. So it's the same color as your tooth. And then we put a special light on that and it makes it nice and hard. So then you can, when you leave, you can, you're all done your filling, you can walk out, you can chew on the tooth and no more hole and no more germs and you're all better, right? So that's okay and that's what how we do that. Now, one of the other things we might suggest to you is of course, just like your mom and dad are gonna be saying, you know, you should brush better more often, but we're also gonna talk to you about some of the things that you eat and some of the things that you can do to make your teeth stronger. Because what if we could build up like an army wall of your around your tooth and it would keep the germs from being able to stick to your tooth? Would that be a good idea? So what we do is we get you to rinse with this special rinse. It's called a, a fluoride rinse. It may be like green, blue, bubble gum, there's different ones. And you're gonna swish with that like that for about 30 seconds. You're gonna do that right before bed. And again, when you're sleeping, now you've built up like almost like a little army, like a wall around your tooth. So the germs, not only can they not stick to your tooth, but they actually 
can't even get close to your tooth, so it's awesome. So if you want, ask your mom and dad to pick you up a special mouse rinse called a fluoride mouse rinse. Make sure you don't swallow it, but you do rinse with that every day and you will notice a big difference. You may never get a cavity, but if you do, don't worry because we know how to fix it and I hope that made you feel better about how we would actually do that. So kids and parents, I really hope that helped. If you would like to share this video, I would love it and appreciate to help as many kids as possible to help them feel better and not afraid of the dentist. Also, I didn't mention, and this could be in another video if you'd like to hear more about flossing, then I can definitely talk about that too. So don't forget to brush, floss, and I will see you next time.